will officially put a bow on this most unusual jet season by clearing up a few fallacies and peeking into the future in our coveted fact or fiction segment. Buckle up, Jets fans. Here's the unvarnished truth about your beloved franchise's present and future. 1. The franchise quarterback is on the roster. Fiction Don't be surprised if Gang Green undergoes a signal color house cleaning this offseason. Bryce Petty gained invaluable experience in his first three seasons, including three starts in December, but the organization will move on. Petty has the physical gifts, work ethic and drive to compete in this league. He needs to find the right system to accentuate his skill set. If Petty can hook on with a play caller with a vertical attacking scheme, there might be a place for him in the NFL. He should be able to compete for a backup job. Christian Hackenberg's future with the team that drafted him with the number 51 pick in 2016 is a bit more complicated. There's a faction on one Jets drive that doesn't believe he should return next season. Real talk Hackenberg has never taken shortcuts in his first two years. He wants to be great. He puts in the time to be great. There's a strong feeling in the building, however, that he'd be better off elsewhere. There's some wiggle room, because general manager Mike Mockignan has control of the 53-man roster. Therefore, the personnel buck technically stops with him. That being said, Mockignan will have important roster decisions to make this offseason that might ultimately prompt him to part ways with Hackenberg. Stay tuned. Jim Rigosh Getty Images 2. Jamal Adams will make the Pro Bowl next season. Fact the rookie safety made an immediate impact, but he's only scratched the surface of his boundless potential. You can't teach the instincts that Adams has on the field. He'll have to improve his eye discipline and coverage, but there's no debate that the guy has the skills that pay the bills like the kids used to say. Hot take Twitter artists have already filed away his bold Pro Bowl prediction. He has one critical flaw, however, that must be addressed and fixed immediately or he'll be doomed to fail. He needs to put on a shirt in pre-game warm-ups in sub-zero temperature from now on. 3. Muhammad Wilkerson will be back with the Jets in 2018. Fiction it's unfortunate that a skilled player with so much promise never really got it. Wilkerson's career with the Jets came to an unceremonious end Sunday. He was deactivated for a third consecutive game after displaying a repeated lack of commitment and professionalism. Bowles gave this guy more chances than we'll ever know, but enough was enough. Sooner or later, you either embrace the program or you get shown the door. Bowles was firm and fair with Wilkerson, who received a free $21 million from the organization thanks to his multi-year deal inked before the 2016 season. The Jets trusted him, and got burned. The biggest question moving forward does Wilkerson actually love football? The Jets don't think so. 4. Leonard Williams is overrated. Fiction I've heard some mind-numbingly dumb things during the season, but this one takes the cake. Anyone who believes that Williams is overrated knows less about football than my 12-year-old niece, who does and like football. Sure, Williams' two sacks won't wow anybody, but he had solid pressure on the passer despite playing half the season with one wrist. In case you didn't know, it's hard to play tackle football with one wrist. Williams is a part of the core. Don't be surprised if the Jets try to give him a contract extension this offseason. 5. It was a smart decision for the Jets to give two-year contract extensions Todd Bowles and Mike Mockignan. Fact Christopher and Woody Johnson should be commended for sticking with their plan after a thorough GM and head coach search three years ago. Stability and continuity at the two most important positions in the organization actually matter. I know, I know. A stunning revelation. Nobody's crowning Bowles and Mockignan yet, but they've shown enough to continue this rebuilding process. The Jets don't want to become radioactive like the Browns. The Johnson brothers made a sound move. Now it's time for the general manager and head coach to nail free agency in the draft. 6. Josh Rosen will be the Jets' starting quarterback in 2018. Mark J. Terrell it doesn't look like the Jets, who pick sixth in the upcoming draft, will be in striking distance to get Rosen. Truth be told they'd prefer to land their starter in free agency or via trade. But, man, he would be a fun dude to cover fearless on and off the field. Super smart.